What's up, everybody? It is Colossalis here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today, we are taking a look at a tank that was kind of very stagnant. He was always good, but he was very stagnant with his builds and never really experienced any kind of variety in you know in his talents or just his talent choices. And today we're talking about ETC. His up until the up until the kind of rework, it's not like you know like a full massive rework, but he did receive a lot of new talents, and most of the other ones were kind of moved around and and kind of uh, their functionality was changed. Before that, he used to just go for the one build, and up until I think the groupies build came around. But again, they thought groupies were too good, and the competitive build uh, was just too stagnant. Was just too static people use it way too much and they wanted to they wanted etc to feel a little bit more um you know they want they just wanted him to have more various builds so today we're gonna take a look at the cowman and finally we can build them towards what we're playing against not just with one build I bring the mega death. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, and find ourselves on the Cursed Hollow map. Level one, we're gonna go for Block Party. What it does is that that our trait also gives block to all nearby allies. How good is that? You, you're able to just kind of dish out block to all your friends around you when you just cast an ability. So his uh, his trait is called Rockstar. When you use a basic ability or heroic ability, give 20% attack speed for four seconds to all nearby allied heroes. Then you picked up Block Party. A Rockstar also grants allies a stack of block. All right, you know, it is one stack of block, but it's still gonna be good. It's still going to be really strong against this team. These teams, honestly, this should be an easy win when you look at the compositions, but you never know in a quick match, you never know. His skill ability is called Power Slide. What it does is it's the skill shot in front of him that makes him slide in the direction. If he hits anybody, he just de deals very light damage. Okay, Malfurion not already falling. Fuck Nova. <laughs> and we hear, fuck Nova. <laughs> Alright, W. Uh, yeah, so he will deal very, very um, light damage and also stun the enemy for 1.25 seconds, which is you know, one of the longer stuns in the game, you know, kind of up there with, with Muradin. Uh, him and Muradin, by the way, at the top of the top of the pinnacle of warriors right now in the game, in Heroes of the Storm. His W ability is called Face Melt. It knocks back, it knock back enemies, knocks back enemies and deals a very light damage. And our E ability is called uh, Guitar Solo. Yeah, Guitar Solo. And it allows us to just apply a little bit of a heal over time to ourselves. Super strong. Um, and actually there was a build going around for that talent where you at level one you would pick up uh, the talent, which is, which is still here. It's called Prograc. Um, which when you pick up Regeneration Globes, you actually make it better for yourself. You actually extend the time for which you will heal. It's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's that extending time. It's something very, very, very mi uh, minor, but still, uh, it just gives you an increased heal to maximum of 100. But now they actually incorporated uh, Groupie Stun. They removed it from later on and they in incorporated the talent into, uh, into, into his basic prog rock now. Uh, so when you when you finish the quest, you, uh, you, know, you, you get that, of course, you get the additional healing. And what you will also do now is you will also be able to heal your allies around you for a little bit less than the amount you heal, but still will be able to do a lot. This is, a, of course, you know, in the early game, she's going to be doing a lot more damage than we can do any any day of the week. We're just going to heal through her the damage. I feel like Crowd Surfer on this map is going to be pretty damn good over all of this terrain, so... Let's go for Crowd Surfer. Crowd Surfer allows us to Q to basically slide like that um, over terrain, so we can do nice jukes. We can we can escape a lot of uh, enemies, you know, just just going through terrain, just you know, just maybe not allowing them. So I can do that. Boop! Not there anymore. You know, uh, I just use my Q there to to show you guys that it is possible. Um, I'm just gonna start traveling. Oh shit, okay, they come from behind. That's what she said. 
Get away. Get away from my thrall. Get away from my thrall. I screw you, brother. Kill the bear. Alright, kill the lily. Alright, Rexar's gonna get wrecked. Uh, we're gonna lose our Vala in, in the process, though. Alright. Yee you. Yee you. Kill that, kill that mobile. Yeah! There we go. Gonna heal up a little bit, give give some block stacks to our friendlies, and I will start channeling the point. Don't let her come in. Oh my god, don't let her come in. Yeah! Okay, we got it. We got it. Easy. Alright, I'm gonna switch a lane, just so we do not lose any XP in the other lanes, and we won't give, you know, give the enemies, um, you know, like, any additional XP over us. Uh, Vala looks like we have a Master Screen Vala. Uh, I've actually just mastered Vala, but I'm actually uh, keeping the, the gold, just so I can buy some heroes with it. You know, with the golds. Alright, let's do this. What's up, Gamerin? How's it popping, man? So, um, in in the latest uh, competitive match, which uh, which was, I mean, the tournament, which was, by the way, which was, by the way, the uh, the world championship, you know, at BlizzCon. Um, basically, what was happening is that Muradin and ETC were the two top picks in in just. The, in any game, in all of the games, basically. It, that's how good it was. Okay, oh god, oh god, okay, she died. Again, that Valor kind of overextending. That's how good they are, just because they have so much crowd control, but they also have a very, very good disengage. One is not better than the other, but they're both very good. Why? Well, Muradin has a stun. Has a stun and uh, disengage at two different abilities. And ETC... On the other hand, has you know the disengage and his stun on the same ability, which you know, which which just naturally makes him what makes him worse, right? But but he can stun multiple people, so he's about the same you know he's about the same strength. Um, okay, we are getting wrecked. I'm gonna be out of here, but I'm not sure about that throw. Oh, the block just saves him. The block. <laughs> he tried to recall way, way too, um, way too close to that gate, and he gets taken out by a, by an auto attack from Nova. God damn it! All right, uh, I'm gonna go top. Fuck it. Um, there, we have three pushing mid, but honestly, that's fine. I right, so I'll just go here for a second. I think I'm gonna go hammer on. I like hammer on. Um, it just deals a little bit of damage. I'm able to just kind of uh, punish these guys. I think he went for he went for block actually. I'm able to do a little bit of damage to him, especially with my uh, with my talent. Um, what I just took is not considered to be the best talent, but honestly, we have enough wave clear. I feel like so, I'm not gonna go for any more of that. Yeah, with Echo Pedal, Pinball Wizard is another option like that. I'm gonna push him into the root, so he's he's just gonna walk into it. Honestly, now we can just kind of try to. Okay, it looks like I think. We gotta bail. We gotta bail! More fear let's bail! Right, let's just give it up. Just give it up. Let's just give it up, my friend. Uh, he is he calling Thrall a curry? <clears throat> okay, we need to soak to 10. Um, let's soak 10. Uh, honestly, it should be the the Kari who's staying with the healer because he's supposed to also protect him. Uh, again, we just have people talking right now. It's just annoying to me. Okay, Thrall will be fine by by himself. I mean, if he's not fine, that means he cannot play Thrall for crap. I'm gonna come to the middle lane, try to gank this enemy Malfurion. Hello, my friends. Hello. I'm gonna go for Mosh Pit because they have no interrupts. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you, Papi? That's fine, Lily. Oh, God damn it. Uh, 
Alright, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just, just back. Just back. We we did our damage. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. Okay. We got a bail! We got a bail, boys and girls. Uh, looks like we we're actually gonna be at a disadvantage here when it comes to this uh, this phase of of, cur of curse. I mean this I mean Thrall could have just easily got that, but it looks like he just didn't want to do that. So that was Moshpit. Moshpit, what it does, it gives, um, it kind of stuns everybody in an area for a little bit. I was actually taken out just because of the lag. I'm not sure what the lag was about though. That was weird as hell. Yeah, so it stuns, it stuns everybody in the area, well, every single enemy in the area for four seconds, I believe. It is, yeah. yeah so after a very short channel, you will stun everybody. It, honestly, if you get a good one like I did, I, I got, I think, three or four people in, into into it. I think it was three. Um, you can definitely wipe an entire team with it and actually just, you know, kind of push the, push the, um, you know, the favor of the battle in, in just in just your favor. It push, push the battle in your favor just because, as you did there, you know, the enemy team backed up just because um, they lost some, some friendlies to, 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 to that mosh pit. Try to body block him. I'm gonna have four seconds. Boop! Where are you going? Okay, I'm gonna actually. Dude, you have wind walk. What are you popping? Kill him, please. Oh my god. Can you kill him? Thank you, finally. God damn it. Uh, we're gonna look like we, we're just gonna siege the bottom just because we were chasing the Rexar on, across the entire map. Uh, because that's just like that's just the shit we like to do, you know. We like to we like, we like to chase Rexar and Misha across the map. Who are you to judge? You know, who's anybody to judge? Anyway, I'm gonna go to the middle lane. Looks like our friendly team is fighting a three, v, actually a two v four fight. That seems alright. Good fight. Good fight. Ah, it was good. It was good knowing you, Thrall. But you did. Right, not a big deal. I'm just gonna do this camp. And when doing a camp with a friendly, try not to spread them out with your W. Kind of you know pushing pushing them back with your W. Just wait for your E. You know it's seriously it's fine. Just wait for your E. You know to 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 kind of increase your damage and your friendly just because you do increase their attack speed. Uh, Lily and I think enemy Lily in a little bit of a tr of trouble right there from our friendly Samuro. Honestly, now he's in deep shit. So I'm gonna come in here and try to save him. Do everybody dance, everybody dance. Boop. Yeah, look at that kill. Okay, I'm outy. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, again, Vala was dealing the damage, so it's fine. We we got one kill. You know, it's and actually enough. So I'm actually gonna come in here. Oh shit! I, re I actually overextended. We lost our Vala. Sorry, Vala. It just seems like okay. Let's just let's just go. Let's just bail, boys. I'm gonna try to body block for him. Oh god damn. Okay. Hoop! Fuck off. <laughs> uh, I did pick up a talent which actually allows me to slow after my W. Right, let me go over the talents kind of quickly. Uh, at level 1, we did go for the block party, which I already explained. You know, it gives everybody around you a block when you use an ability, a heroic or a basic one. Crowd Surfer go allows you to go over walls. I didn't actually use it that much. I, I, should, I should start using it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much just a new so uh, hammer on again kind of like a follow-through but it gives an additional auto, auto attack damage to your next two basic attacks instead of just one I'll be fine we'll be fine brother we will be fine bro huh, 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 huh. but you can see um, you know etc is not the the heaviest auto attacking hero therefore he won't be you know he won't be getting as much of a um... do you want to do boss I man I like it. It's ballsy, but let's do it. I like it, like it, but let's do it. Yeah, so again, he doesn't have, you know, the highest auto attack damage, therefore you won't be able to scale it for that much. But... Yeah. It's, you know, it's still quite a lot of damage in the lane, especially, and then also you will be able to um, kind of deal a little bit more damage with... Uh, you know, just in the team fight, right? So I'm gonna actually let my team do the th do the things, do all the things, and grab the objective. Oh fuck! Let's put. 
Okay, looks like, looks like we're actually doing we're doing fine. We're doing fine this team fight, boys and girls. What are you doing? What are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thrall is expecting our Malfusion to just heal him through everything, I believe. <laughs> what? No, he healed him. He healed him. He just... Uh, I mean, that was just the burst damage that uh, Greyman can do. Greyman can still still do quite a bit of uh, burst damage, but, you know. Okay, so Rexar is the only one defending their, actually, our boss, which we did. And actually, their boss is already dead, though. And we should be pretty... Um, Pretty aggressive with what we're doing right now. Should be getting this no problem. I'm actually gonna go for. Let's see. Do I'm gonna go imposing presence? I can. I'm actually show this off a little bit. Uh, so you can see I'm actually able to do quite a lot of damage you know, to, the, to these min to uh, minions in the lane with my follow through. Now we should be able to just get it no problem. If any anybody from the enemy team tries to, you know, make our day. Okay. So where are you, Papa? Where are you, Papa? You serious? You serious? Okay, we got four seconds. The four seconds that I can get a nice mosh pit up in here! Okay, that was a bad mosh pit. Bad mosh pit! I'm coming! I'm coming! Again, we're splitting and we are not supposed to do that. Okay, we're gonna kill Nova. Nice. <laughs> nice killing that Nova. Actually, somewhere is all, all alone now. But it's fine. We, we got the objective, so it, that's all that matters. Honestly, that's all that matters. Nice, nice. So, actually, what imposing, imposing the presence does now? So everybody around me will be, um, won't be slowed, but they'll be dealing. Uh, they'll be, they will have their auto attack speed slowed by twenty five percent, and then I can also activate it to slow them for twenty five, I believe. No, by twenty, and then further slow their attack speed by uh, fifty percent. Which is crazy if you think about it. It's it just got them nuts. So we can actually push this, push the shit out of this. Hello, I'm gonna body block you, and you can't do nothing. That's fine. That silence is gonna do 100% nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I don't give a, I don't give a crap. I'm gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> I'm fine. You wanna do something? All right, let's just spin the friendship. Let's just spin the friendship. Uh, on this server range, I like Bolt of the Storm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Bolt. Uh, Bolt just will allow me to kind of escape whenever I whenever I just feel like it. It's also pretty good for engaging into a nice mosh pit. I'm gonna actually put on one. Uh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, you can swap the, these around, uh, which is pretty goddamn good. So we are actually not all of us are here now. <sighs> well, I'm gonna try to body block. Um, mosh pits on. In about three seconds. So if I get a goo one, uh, actually nobody's here. So okay, okay, okay. Got it. Alright, let's wait. Oh, I was rooted for way too long. We stayed way too long. Uh, our Vala wasn't with us, which is actually our actual Cuddy. Um, but yeah. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. <laughs> of the frontliner. I mean, I kind of left him, so it was kind of my fault. So, I mean, but he didn't rejoin with us, trying to get bottom. Uh, all of the enemy forts are and keeps are now gone. So, honestly, this is, this should be just a matter of time before we win the game. So yeah, that was the follow through. Moshpe already explained what it does. Uh, face melt, allowing me to slow enemies who. Uh, who were recently hit by my fa face melt um, by 60% that, that fades over two seconds Honestly, it's just super good for crowd control staying in front of the enemy um, Imposing presence again just slowing down the attacks of Nova, Rexar, Greymane Not really Mofion or Lily, but just just mainly these three and then Bolt to set up some plays and to nicely escape A lot of people have been going for stage not stage. Yeah stage dive now Stage dive is the second heroic, which allows you to stage dive in an area. Stage dive to any area on the map. Any area. God damn it. God damn it, boys. You guys are alone. Not sure what the hell you're doing. What the hell you think you're doing. Ugh. 
Ooh, can we get him? Can we get before this Rexar gets him? Yes! Yes! That's how it's done. So I just use the blink there to get close to him. Uh, my Q was on cooldown. And that's going to be a good game. So yeah, my Q was on cooldown. I just used the... Why do we want to do it? Okay, let's just do another boss. I mean, we're going to win anyway, but... I guess in the soul final. I mean, we, we, we can just do this for sport. Just do it for sport, man. Just so we can get some more damage on the board, I'm guessing. Yeah, so what state of that? It allows you to kind of dive, stage dive to any kind of area on the map. So from here, I could go to right there on the map and not worry about a thing. Just kind of just stage dive, deal damage, and slow anybody that I hit. It's actually a pretty big area that it does it in. It's considered to be a worse heroic, but honestly, it gives you a global presence. And if the enemy team has more than three ways to stop you from your from mosh pitting, because any stun, any silence, or any displacement, people can just blow on you. And you're gonna be, um, and you're going to be uh, stopped from channeling your um, your mosh pit. So again, when people pick stage dive, and you see that you know, and you start shit talking to them, please first look at the enemy comp. I mean, if they pick that up, and there's no way to displace them, stun them, silence them, or anything like that, sure. Then go and shit talk on them. Actually, no, don't don't shit talk on them. Just just kind of maybe point out. Sorry, Bernie Burn, my my friend from my stream. Um, So again, when you see them going for for stage dive, don't shit talk them. Look at the enemy comp. Look at the map. You might need. You might be in the need of a global. You might be. You know, there might be just way too many disrupts for their mosh pit, and their, you know, and there just could be that reason why they picked up a stage dive. If they, if there was no reason, if it's a, is if it's a very small map and um, you have a double tank composition and it seems like they have no disrupts. Yeah, it's probably a bad choice on their part, but still, don't get you know, don't get too into the game like in that way. Try to be reasonable. Do not shit talk anybody, please. Uh, right, I'm going to go over the build again. There's probably one change I would make to this build to kind of make it a little bit better. So block party was good just because they had again. What made etc so good now is his versatility. He's able to build according to what is needed, right? You you, you don't have enough heals. You have only sing, single Tyrande heals. Go for Prog Rock. You think you're going you're going to be on your own when um, you know when you lane and in team fights. Go for Guitar Hero, which allows you to um, then heal for thirty five percent of the damage dealt. Um, you know with your basic attacks after you use your uh, Guitar Solo. You know the one that heals you. Very very strong for for self sustain and then block party if you have if they have a lot of base, basic attack damage again block party is going just going to be good just reducing that uh, you know the initial burst of, of damage right from Samuro the first basic attack is always the strongest and level four there's there are two here that I actually all all three of them are pretty damn good I probably speed speed metal is the worst just because. It's only a 10% increase for two seconds. It's not going to be that big of a deal. So it's probably loudspeaker, but I don't like to throw people, throw people back further. I feel like it's very, very situational, and it only works when you actually, if, when you're in front of somebody and you're throwing them back into your team, which I guess could fight. It could be fine. All up to you. All up to you. If, if you think you're going to be good with it, I just feel like uh, going over terrain. But again, on the map which there's no much, not much terrain, like maybe Braxis Holder or something like that. Even on Braxis Holder, you can find uses, uses for it. So, again, it's all up to what your playstyle is. I just think a speed metal is not that good. Levels, but we, I did go for crowd surf. I just feel like I can use it much more efficiently. Level ten, I did go for the mash pit just because the enemy team had. 
only the Twilight Dream to to displace me to silence. It's like it's actually a silence, so to silence me out of my out of my mosh pit. But I was actually aiming to get more fury in, in every single one of my mosh pits. Again, Stage F is another one. Leap to a target location, landing after 2.75 seconds. This was actually a long kind of like people can see when they're when you're going to be landing, uh, dealing actually quite heavy damage and slowing them for five for 50 percent, which is actually also a very good crowd control. Level 13, I do believe Face Melt is the only one good here. Um, it just allows you to, again, improve that crowd control that you are already dealing. Level 16, I went for sh for Imposing Presence, but if you're facing a lot of um, basic attack, uh, not basic attack damage, but rather uh, if you're facing a lot of ability damage, I would probably go for Showstopper. It just kind of flat gives you a reduction of damage you take by 25% for 4 seconds after you power slide. So you know you, you power slide in uh, into the enemy team where you take the most damage and you're going to be taking reduced damage for that uh, for 4 seconds, which is just, just huge. Again, I took Imposing Presence because they had a lot of auto attackers and I wanted to reduce the damage they were doing. Um, and then, god damn it, and then level 20 I went for Bolt of the Storm to kind of set up some plates, but also to have a one extra escape onto me. But honestly, Tour Bus is fine if you can use it. This allows you to uh, power slide during your mosh pit, extending it by two seconds. Uh, I felt like the enemy team was actually clumping very, very much in this game, therefore I didn't go for it. Um, I felt like maybe that would be too much choice. If the enemy team kind of is split into two camps or kind of splits a lot, maybe you can land a good mosh pit, kind of maybe provide a stun for like three seconds and then, you know, kind of power slide to the other half of your team, maybe of their team, you know, which doesn't expect you actually picking up. Because Tour Bus is, let's be honest here, it's a niche pick. So they do not expect you to power slide into them and just kind of wreck their face with a stun. So Tour Bus could be good if you can use it. Uh, death Metal, it gives you another mosh pit when you die, which kind of depends on you dying. That's why I don't like it. I don't like anything that kind of depends on you dying. That's why I don't really play Diablo, I don't really I really kind of stopped playing Leoric as well. Uh, because a lot of them, a lot of the st stuff that they do, also play, start playing Uther, a lot of stuff that they do kind of depends on them dying. Um, but also, Storm Shield, very very good. One of the only tanks, if not the only tank that has Storm Shield on them. Just just extra survivability, survivability to your friendlies. Crazy, crazy good on on a tank, especially when your maybe your healer you know is not uh, doing the best job at healing. And of course, again, both of the storm setup plays and for extra escape. That's it. Etc. Cow. Bam. I'm out.